Hello friends, this video on data handling part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have understood grouped frequency distribution table, let us try to make a group grouped frequency distribution table. The so data on weights of 20 students of a class are given. So use class intervals 30 to 35, 35 to 40 and so on to make a grouped frequency distribution table. Now looking at the class intervals which are given, can you tell me whether it is exclusive or inclusive? So what kind of class intervals are given? The class intervals are something like this 30 to 35, 35 to 40, 40 to 45, 45 to 50 and so on. Now, how, how am I able to write all the class intervals? That's because two class intervals are given. So basically with this, I got to know the size of the class interval. What is the size of the class interval? Size is upper limit minus lower limit that is 5. So every class interval should have a size of 5. And looking at these two, we found that the upper limit of the first class interval is the lower limit of the second class interval. So with that, we understood that the upper limit of the second class interval should be the lower limit of the third class interval and so on. So knowing this, we can actually create all the class intervals. Right. So now since the upper limit of first is the lower limit of the second class interval, this shows that this is an exclusive class interval. This is an example of exclusive class interval. Right. So these are certain things that we learned some time back. So it, it is kind of revision for you. Now here, now till where will I keep making these class intervals? Now for that we should know what is the maximum data that we have, what is the maximum entry that we have here. Now when you look at this data, so the maximum data, the, the, the maximum number that we have here is 65. So there is nothing which is greater than 65. So I think we will have to create these intervals till the time we cover 65. So do you think that we have included 65 by now? No, because in this interval again it is an exclusive interval. So 65 is not included in this class interval. So we need to create another class interval. So now we have created all the class intervals that are needed to cover this set of data. Right. So these are our groups. So we have created one column of frequency distribution table. Now what would be the next column? The next column would be for tally marks. And the third column would be for frequency. So that's how we create frequency grouped distribution table. Now for the group 30 to 35. So let us quickly have a look. So 30 to 35 we have 33, we have 31, we also have do we have something else? We have 34. So we basically have 3 data. So this the frequency would be 3. Now 35 to 40. So 35 to 40 we have 38. We also have 36. We have 38. We have 39. So we have 4 data. So the frequency would be 4. Similarly for 40 to 45. Again we have 4 data so the frequency would be 4. Now in a similar way we can continue to count and then fill this table. So for each of these we just have one one data. So now this is how we create a grouped frequency distribution table. Now in order to create this table the first challenge is to create the class intervals. Now, and how do we create the class intervals? For example, here the sample class intervals were given. It, the question already mentioned that these are the class intervals that you are supposed to take. So first of all, find out the size of class interval. So once you have found the size, you can maintain the same size of the class interval throughout. Also, looking at the first two class interval, you got to know whether it is exclusive or inclusive so that you can make the remaining class intervals accordingly. So this is how you make a grouped frequency distribution table. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.